Hey everyone, welcome to uh, the next episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2012. And uh, just a bit of news here, uh, something which is I, I'm not quite sure happened. Uh, the League Cup draw has been made for the quarter final, and we've been drawn against Wigan, Wigan at home. Um, but I actually didn't do the draw. I would have done the draw, but um, I literally just pressed continue, expecting you know it to appear in the menu saying the draw will be taking place today. Do you want to view it? And it just sort of did it for me. I don't know, is, is, is there like an option or something I haven't done? Have you guys noticed this point? Never did it in uh, FM. Like, I haven't clicked anything, you know. I, I don't know. It's very odd. But anyway, we've got Wigan at home. Of course, we played Wigan at uh, away and lost, which was very annoying. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I've actually just uploaded that video today just to give you an idea of how uh, far ahead I am. Anyway, yeah, that's a bit annoying. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, fast forward to the Swansea game. So I'll and welcome back so uh, we have um team here against Swansea and Anfield now this should be one of the more well so I say it's a very bated breath easy easier games in the Premier League um <laughs> it obviously is home I imagine obviously Swansea will give a much uh, better account of themselves at uh, at the Liberty Stadium where I believe they're actually under actually no, this guy could be wrong actually <laughs> I could be wrong uh, if it, if this goes out of the weekend and they've lost at home. But at least at the time of recording this, I think they are undefeated at uh, Liberty Stadium, which is decent. Um, may noticed one glaring omission here, which is Steven Gerrard. Decided to give him a rest play, Lucas and Adam in midfield as well. I'll try a combination of Suarez and Tony, uh, mainly because um, Carroll played midweek. I thought, uh, okay, I'll, you know, I thought, okay, I've, I've played Carroll, I'll play Suarez this time. Simple, simple rotation. Uh, of course, Bellamy is still injured. Um, the team Sinclair and Dyer and Graham. I actually have had Sinclair and Dyer in my fantasy team. I'm in a Trout's league, but it's the only league I have. I was thinking about making a league for you guys, like for the fantasy thing, and uh, I was gonna do it, and I never got around to doing it. And like, I was gonna make it, but it was like in, it, halfway through. I don't know. Uh, it'd be rubbish, you know, making a season now. If you've got a team, I might make one. I don't know. I might make a league, and if you've got a team, then yeah, you've got a team. But you know, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, that that's enough enough gibberish for me. Let's um. It's good to play the game. Uh, that's Steve Clark at the advice. I could actually get get um, a bit of hard tackling on Sinclair and uh, Nathan Dyer as well because they're feisty little buggers, tell you now. Very good little players. Let's be calm and uh, that's for the fans, I guess. <laughs> so let's see how Luca Tony does today. He's yet to score. Uh, this is the first video I've actually done with um, your so with your feedback, if you will. And yeah, you know, say that gives you an idea of how um, how far ahead I am, you guys. Good grief, the frame rate's atrocious. And uh, sorry about that. Frame, there we go, that's better. And uh, well, it's a very good start. The Swans at the moment, but um, I think we need to change t not from stand. I think we might go to control for now. Actually, no, we'll go attacking for now, and we'll just see where we go, for, or at least how this goes. Uh, but yeah, this is the first video I've got with sort of your feedback, if you will, and sort of ideas how to play them. I know a few people were saying, uh, play Lucatoni as a target man. Indeed, I am playing him as a target man now. Uh, <laughs> someone said that he's like um, an Italian older version of Andy Carroll, which is quite funny. Didn't realise he was that, because I remember him playing for uh, Bayern Munich, and he looked like a very good player. Obviously, he's aged, I can't imagine he's aged brilliantly. Look at this, what the fuck are these two doing? Come on. I said close down, oh sorry, no whenever. I said put a hard tackle in on Nathan Dyer. Why the hell are they dominating? Why have we not had a shot yet? At least I've got possession back, here we go, finally into the box. And Luis Suarez has, well, I think you can sort of see the contrast there. Now you may remember in 2011, Fernando Torres would try that all the time for me, and most of the time he'd actually score, or at least he would come very close. Suarez probably couldn't be further away there even if he tried, and Luca Toni there coming very close indeed, a lot closer than Suarez. Um, I'm not too sure if it's the best thing to say I've got two misfiring strikers. Also, mis Tony's not misfiring, He's uh, that's the first shot I've have ever seen him do for Liverpool, to be brutally honest. There we go, we're getting into the game, that's a bit better. Jordan Henson with this corner. God's sake, I hate corners at the far post. Very rarely do they go in. I think Skirtles went in in the last game. That's it. Any other time they don't go in, they're rubbish. Swansea actually putting up a better fight than I thought. Thought they might roll over, but... Well, <laughs> I'd say roll over, but uh, they obviously are doing... Um, 
Well, they're sort of attempting shots from like 30 yards out, which is never good. I really don't know where this goal's going to come from. From either team, to be honest. Moses it might take an effort from Charlie. Good God. What are you doing, you stupid fruitcake? I mean, just that that effort. What was that about? Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to have to get them in a half time if they haven't scored here. Oh! Can you believe it? Can you believe that? Luis Suarez, if you had like a tab open or something, you hit the post. And a very, very um, bouncy post it looked. <laughs> looked like they were very bouncy. Um, again, Luca Tony having a poor game. Come on. Let's be assertive with them. Keep working hard. I'm not even getting any body language from them this time. <laughs> the fuck? At least the morale is decent. Be uh, aggressive and uh, be assertive as well. Actually, I just um, I have faith in you. Let's see. Anything? Not a fucking reaction. Are they even listening to me? <laughs> Are they even listening? What's this about? We've had one. Both of us have had one shot on target. It's Swansea for Christ's sake. Here we go. Free kick coming in from similar angle that we scored against Sunderland in real life. Actually, yeah. I think uh, I need to change the old. Um, that familiarity section was full before. What the fuck? Um, okay, let's take change the play instructions. Clearly, I think they're having too many shots again. Yeah, long shots. God damn it, stick. Why? What the? I think I know why they're not sticking because I'm not. Oh God, the oh, I'm sorry. The, the, that is so frustrating. The way you click, you, the, uh. yeah. Calm down, don't get angry on camera. <laughs> Let's see, Charlie Adam, I'll leave the wingers. Um, and run with ball. Actually, I'd say run with ball. Come on, clicking away here. Try often with Adam. Don't really want Lucas to do Ah, you know, why don't you? Because I've got Lucas and Adam in the wrong bloody place. <sighs> Dear me. Because Adam's been playing in the wrong position. I love how he's a ball-winning midfielder, which is essentially a defensive midfield role. And he's still having shots. That's how determined Charlie Adam is on this game. To fucking have shots. I hate how often he shoots. I think Suarez... Yeah, I think I just said Suarez dived. Alright, screw this. We're clearly not getting anything with attacking. Let's go to control. Uh, let's pass the feet. Come on, win that, Lucas. God damn it, he's done that. Reina didn't need to make the save there. Um, exploit the mi exploit the middle. Don't go off. All right. I thought it was going to go off then. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. What else can we use here? And that's going to be cleared away. Come on, Lucas, make that. There you go. And uh, not the greatest breakout in the world, but I'll take it. At least we're attacking now. Can't get rid of the menu on the side, which is annoying. Come on, cross it in, Jordan Henderson. I was going to call it, I, I, I was going to say Jordan, but I hate calling the play. Not like Ray Wilkins, who uh, calls all the players, <laughs> calls all the players by the first names and says young man and, uh, oh my God, that's got to go. How's it not gone in? How did that not go in? I think Skettle got their on Carrigan nearly got it in. Oh my God. Yeah, so I won't be like Ray Wilkins calling everyone by the first name and calling them young man and telling them to stay on their feet every five seconds. Skettle likes to attack the ball quite aggressively and often. I like that. Come on. That's the space that you're looking for. What was that? Who on God's name would have a shot there? The, the space he had to put it across the, sort of the corridor of uncertainty, if you will. And he chooses to shoot. That was appalling. God, great. Watch Downing will do it himself now. Oh, come on. Tony has his first goal. There we go. Luca Tony. <laughs> Passed into the back of the net. First goal for Liverpool. And he's off and away. Luca Tony there. Liverpool's new number 10. The only reason I gave him number 10 because he is a striker and we don't have a uh, <laughs> number 10 at the moment in real life. But as you can see, since sort of changing up, since changing a few things up, they have, uh, you can see, the shot count's gone way up and obviously scoring. Not to mention, you know, sort of the possession, the chances. In fact, they have more possession than us by 1%. Which is 
strange because it doesn't seem like it. Let's have a look then. So, yeah, see, this is what happens when you cross a Jordan Henderson. Stuart Downing puts a decent cross in, I suppose, and Luca Toni has uh, not really an empty net, but for mostly an empty, net, an, an, an empty net. Let's finish off. And Suarez is booked, but I'm not going to take him off yet. Okay, well, okay, we'll see this highlight and then we'll make some subs. And Charlie Adam again with the shot. Even though I say to him long shots rarely. Oh my god. I'm actually going to take him off because he's so frustrating. I'm going to give Gerard 20 minutes. Henderson's corner's coming again, by the way. And it's going to be cleared by Swansea. Um, I'm going to take Henderson off as well. I think that'll do for Dirk Kout. See how we do here. Sorry for the poor frame rate if you are seeing that. I don't think it doesn't co it doesn't come out too badly in uh, YouTube since obviously the, it gets uh, condensed slightly. But uh, yeah, it's, it it kind of comes and goes. Let's see, I think I might take Carol on. Uh, sorry, bring Carol on soon. Take uh, Suarez or maybe Tony. I don't know. He's playing with confidence, I suppose. Stephen Gerrard again. <sighs> Much better than Charlie Adam in fairness. I know Adam just had a shot that was on target, but <laughs> feel more confident with Gerard having the shots. See, this is what happens when you play Luca Tony as a target man. You guys were right, and I thank you for that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Suarez. Tempted to play Suarez on the wings, but I don't think he can play that. You know he can play that in real life, but I don't think he can play it on this game. Now, you see, Lucas, again, I think, did I say Lucas? I think I did. No, no shooting, so what does he do? Or, or rarely long shots. Still has long shots. Unbelievable. Take Suarez off for Carroll, I suppose. He's on a yellow card. Uh, and might as well just save his uh, condition, I suppose. Michelle Vorm, he's a very good looking goalkeeper, I tell you now. Uh, certainly for you know level of Swansea, he's done very well. There goes, and there is Suarez. Now let's see, can he have one final thing before he comes off? And uh, no, he can't. That was. Very poor. Ay, 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 ay. Cannot put my finger on Suarez. I really can't. He goes down and go the free kick now. Come again, I think, here. Oof. Look at Tony. Nearly also getting a second. I think he's Carol on. Uh, I think he is, yeah. I think so. Maybe subs. Uh, well, is the game going to run out? Have we, got, have we got one more highlight, maybe? And it's still for us. I think I might pull them back to the defensive now. Carroll with an effort there with one of corner Vaughan getting in the way. Say, he has looked very impressive. I remember the first game against City, he looked pretty impressive. And uh, since then as well, I think he looked quite good against Arsenal as well. Jamie Carragher with uh, poor headers. I didn't know his headers were that bad. <laughs> You'd think uh, Carragher's heading attributes would be okay since his, you know, everything else in terms of attacking is probably really bad. Okay, let's see, we've got a minute of uh, normal time left with, um, obviously, added time still to come. We can have a break on here. Play, where the hell's Lucas? Why didn't he play Tony in? He was a lot of space then, Lucas Tony. Never mind, he's got it back. Oh, Lucas, come on, stop losing possession. I think they've got an old Lucas model on here. It's completely unlike him in real life. He's found to be one of the most consistent players for Liverpool at the moment. But on this, he's incredible. In fact, the whole team is incredibly inconsistent. That's what I hate about it. Okay, I've just over 90 seconds left. And we're still attacking. Which is always nice to see. <sighs> Steven Gerrard, come on. What, why would... I'm not, sorry, not even Steven Gerrard would do that. Um, he would just wouldn't do that. In real life. That's just... I mean, no player... In fact, I don't think any player would do that. <gasps> Jamie Carragher nearly knocking that one. That's <laughs> typical candidate there, Jamie Carragher, for scoring on goal. Galloway with a corner. Oh my goodness me, and Rain's got to save that. I don't know, Skirtle missed the ball there. And that key sung going away. I don't know who that, who that is. Missing it. For God's sake, find a red shirt for the love of fuck. <laughs> oh dear me. I just, what was that about? That ending, absolute farce. Having just completely reckless. Um, that was a bit of a let off Jose Enrique actually I'm going to say to Enrique um, you did well out there see if that does anything and he loved to switch off <laughs> I don't get this game I don't get it Lee Katerny did well what 
You impressed me out there, and okay, look how okay, look happy this time. I dear me. Anyway, back up to third. Um, Tottenham obviously to uh, to play Monday maybe, or I don't know when. This is a Sunday. It's when are Tottenham playing. Whatever. We get a fifth, and Everton a second. What is this game? Why is Aston Villa down there? Why is Sunderland down there? Why are Chelsea there? Why are City down there? Why are Bob Why is this game? It's making no sense to me at all at the moment. And a record overdue win. I think uh, that's the first time in four games I think we've won in the Premier League. Excluding obviously the previous game. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to Ewood Park next uh, for the Blackburn game. So I hope you will join me for that. Uh, thanks for watching, lads. I'll see you next time.